Welcome back to Longevity Now, Longevity Now FL. Uh, I'm uh, Luigi Fontana, the scientific director of the Charles Perkins Center RPA Clinic uh, of the University of Sydney. Today we're going to talk about inflammation of coronary arteries and uh, the risk of cardiovascular mortality. This is a study published in, uh, just published in Lancet, in the Lancet, uh, <clears throat> showing a very, very interesting uh, association between uh, inflammation of the coronary arteries as predictors of major adverse cardiac events and cardiovascular mortality independently, so that's the important, independently of traditional cardiovascular risk factors and the presence or extent of coronary artery disease. The orphan study evaluated the ability of the coronary perivascular fat attenuation index uh, <clears throat> from coronary CT angiogra angiography. So basically, this is a marker of inflammation. You measure basically the at attenuation index of the perivascular fat of the coronary arteries uh, by uh, CT angiography. And uh, this uh, coronary perivascular fat attenuation index, um, the capacity of this one to predict cardiovascular risk and guide management in individuals, individuals without obstructive coronary artery disease. This multicenter longitudinal cohort study involved more than 40,000 patients from eight UK hospitals, followed for a median of 2.7 years for major adverse cardiac events, including myocardial infarction, MI, new onset heart failure, and cardiac death. So the key findings of the studies are, number one, that patients without obstructive coronary artery disease comprised 81.1% of this cohort. Okay, and accounted, yes, accounted for 66.3% of total major adverse cardiac events, therefore MI, uh, heart failure, and cardiac death, and 63.7% of total cardiac deaths. So basically reinforcing that you don't have to have a, a obstructive plaque in your coronary arteries to develop an MI or to die uh, for cardiac death, okay? Point number two of this study is that an increased uh, uh, um, uh, perivascular, coronary perivascular fat attenuation index score in all three coronary arteries significantly predicted higher risk for cardiac mortality and major adverse cardiac events. Specifically, the HR, the hazard ratios for cardiac mortality uh, and uh, major adverse cardiac events uh, compared to comparing the top to the bottom quartile for the um, perivascular fat attenuation index score were 29.8 and 12.6 respectively. What does it mean? That basically those with higher cor coronary <coughs> perivascular fat inflammation had a 20, almost a 30 times higher risk of cardiac mortality than those in the lowest uh <coughs> quartile and basically uh, almost 13 times higher risk of developing an MI or new onset heart failure and cardiac death. Uh, so this is massive, massive. The third point is that this uh, perivascular, coronary perivascular fat attenuation index score predicted cardiac mortality and the development of major adverse cardiac events independently, independently of traditional cardiovascular risk factors like cholesterol, <coughs> blood pressure, uh, diabetes, uh, and the presence of or extent of coronary disease, okay? 
So independently of traditional cardiovascular risk factors and the presence of extent of coronary artery disease. So inflammation, coronary inflammation, uh, is basically an independent risk factor. So in conclusion, this study shows that vascular inflammation plays a crucial role in the pathogenesis of cardiovascular disease, morbidity and mortality beyond traditional risk factors, especially in patients without obstructive coronary artery disease. As I already explained in other videos and in my books and my scientific articles, inflammation basically uh, is uh, highly uh, regulated by a, a number of unhealthy lifestyle factors, uh, the most important being excessive uh, uh, visceral fat, abdominal obesity, that is triggering the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines from visceral fat that is driving systemic inflammation plus alteration in the gut microbiota and gut permeability with uh, basically uh, release of LPS that mm, gets basically through the uh, <coughs> gut uh, disrupted permeability enters into the systemic uh, uh, circulatory, circulatory system uh, uh, and and therefore uh, exercise and uh, a healthy diet with the right amount of calories and quality of these calories are essential for the uh, reduction of inflammation systemically and at uh, 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 at uh, organ level okay so thank you for listening this is a very interesting paper uh, i hope you know it's going to be informative to change your lifestyle and uh, this is uh, longevity now longevity now fl uh, the youtube channel uh, of the science and philosophy of health well-being and longevity uh, I'm uh, Luigi Fontana, a professor of medicine, uh, the scientific director of the Charles Perkins Center, RPA Clinic uh, of the University of Sydney, the director of the CRPA Health for Life program and a clinical, clinical academic in the Department of uh, Endocrinology of the Royal Prince Alfred Hospital in Sydney.